Great. So let's get started. It's 631. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Robert, you see, we could have started 10 minutes ago. We're still waiting. You know, usually it um, connects quicker. Jeffrey, do you really have your hand up now? You're muted. You are mute, Jeff. Now Jeff went off video. I apologize. Video. Just one moment. I think we lost Jeff there. Okay, we're on. Great. So then let's get started. It is now 632. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming to Community Board 11's Transportation Committee meeting. Tonight, we're going to discuss the Brooklyn um, bus redesign as it pertains to the bus routes in Community Board 11. Marnie did a beautiful presentation with all the bus routes. Um, so do you want to start sharing your screen and we'll jump right in? It's a lot. Sure. It's a, I mean, we're not going to go over this in like intricate detail for every single line because then we would be here for six hours tonight. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Yep. Beautiful. Just one moment. Okay. Just one moment. Beautiful. So the first route we will begin with is the B1, which primarily travels along 86th Street within Community Board 11. There will be 24-hour service and service between Bay Ridge and Manhattan Beach. There is no frequency or service span changes are being proposed at this time. There are proposed bus stop changes, um, which we're aware of, um, at 86th Street and 24th Avenue. Um, under the previous proposal to relocate under DOT safe routes to transit project. Okay, so unless we jump in, let's just keep going. You got it. I apologize. The B3 runs primarily along Avenue U. It's service between Gravesend and Bergen Beach, 24 hour service. No route changes. There are proposed eastbound bus stop changes. 25th Avenue and Bath Avenue removed to improve speed and reliability. 25th Avenue and 84th Street removed to improve speed and reliability. Um, Avenue U and West 11th, although it's on the CB15 side, we share a border of Avenue U, um, removed to improve speed. Avenue U and West 9th, removed to improve speed and reliability. The westbound bus stop changes are Avenue U and Van Sicklin Street. Avenue U and West 10th Street, both to improve speed and reliability. The westbound um, route changes at 25th Avenue, and I can't see that. Oh, it would be 25th and Bath to improve speed and reliability. 
I provided, I'm sorry, I'm just closing windows. Okay. Um, on the top right is the westbound bus stop removal map. In the purple are the bus stops that are being removed. And on the bottom is the eastbound bus stop removal map. On the B4, Bay Ridge to Sheepshead Bay, it travels primarily on Bay Ridge Parkway to Civil Avenue, otherwise known as 70 a.m. daily. The routing changes a discontinued segment on 86th Street at the border of CB11. The eastbound B4 bus stop changes is to remove the Stubble Avenue and Kings Highway. Stop. Moni, I'm sorry. Can you go back to the last slide? Sure. Just, I just wanted to ask a question about that. Um, that we're discontinuing that yes. segment, okay, at the border of CB11, and the rest goes into what, 15 over there? Um, I, I that's 13. 13. Okay, so. Yeah, it's, so it's right at, it's right at the corner of Stillwell Avenue and 26th Avenue opposite um, the car wash. Are you familiar? Yeah. Okay, right there. And right. that's outside of our district. Okay, but is there another, are you familiar if there's another bus line that's going to be picking up over there? So what they're showing in the map is the new added service will be the B4, yeah. which will travel down Stillwell Avenue instead of 86th Street. Okay. Okay. So it's not just gone. Okay. Thank you. It's not being, it's not being replaced. It's just being, it's just being removed for the B4. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, so we have Civil and Kings Highway on the eastbound and, and Civil and 25th Avenue. Um, the westbound before bus stop removal, 86th Street and Civil Avenue. Um, Civil and Avenue T, both to improve speed and reliability. Civil Avenue and 86th Street will be a new stop location. Um, I am not sure if, I, I believe this is the only location where they could cite it. They didn't provide the new location from what I could see. The bottom picture is the removal of Stillwell Avenue in Kings Highway. Um, Marty, uh, with the if the, if this is true, he, that's going to be a problem where they put that before bus stop. If that's if this is true, by. Yeah, so I don't know if it's up by the commercial stores or more towards um, Petco. I doubt they would put it in the driveway there, but I haven't received comp confirmation. On the B4, just give me one moment. Isn't, Robert, isn't it over by Petco that's like a layover area for the buses there? Uh. No, it is not a layover area there for that. None of the buses they make reliefs there, but they don't they don't lay over there. On okay, the, so on, that's on, the wrong terminology. I just always see the buses there stopped and parked, and the bus drivers out on the sidewalk. Yeah, that that that's a relief point for the B one and only the B one. Nothing else relieves there, so it's just just the B one drivers. Yes, yeah, so Robert. It's just listing um, on the westbound at 86th Street and Stillwell Avenue. <laughs>
a new stop location. Okay, that's going to be interesting. So that's, on that's, on that's, the that's, south side of the street is under the elevated structure, and there's multiple. Yeah, but if we remember, we had uh, issues with the turns there uh, coming off of Stillwell. Uh, so now they're going to put a bus stop on the far, going northbound, they're going to put it on the far side of 86th Street, which is probably either going to be by Petco or John Stelly. If you don't, if you put, you don't put it down that far, you put it next to Petco, the B3 buses are never going to turn and you're going to get them stuck in the middle of the intersection. Never mind the fact here is that crossing light here is always tough from from going from I know it, it's it just it, it's just amazing that that's what they're going to do listen you, you know um we had just not to jump ahead but we had asked when they did an initial rollout of the plan how are how are they going to manage this operationally um, and that was on all the routes, basically. Um, and they didn't have an answer to that. And I don't know if they're prepared to give that information as of yet. No, because if they gave you that information, you're going to see that while of they're course. saying that what, they, 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 what they're saying is, oh, it's going to be a service improvement. No, it's not. It really isn't. They're going to they're going to find a way to cut service because all the buses can run faster, meaning they don't need as many buses out there. It's just, just a matter of fact. That's why they're not gonna give you that information yet. Well, I'm speaking about the physical, um, you know, um, in the community, the actual physical changes, not your operation uh, well, from, that, from your standpoint. No, but I, I'm also thinking about that in, in, in regards to that because if they don't do it operationally wise, you're going to have more people, more people waiting at these stops. If that's if that's their intention, that's why when you told us about them not knowing how they're going to manage this, that was a red flag right there for me. But hey, listen, of course, yeah. <laughs> the MT, the, the MTA is going to do what they want to do anyway, regardless of what the public says. Well, so I mean. The chair and I, Lori and I discussed this and we thought we would present this, right? Because to discuss some of the challenges and, and lay it out in an easier to see um, form, right? And, and then we're going to attend the public meeting, which we hope that residents will participate in and give their feedback. Um, I know previously, the MTA put out a map where you could comment and you were able to see the community comments, but I am not able to see that any longer. So they remove, I, I believe they removed that ability. So we're going to have to gather um, some of the input and some of our concerns and reconvene after the 13th and the board, the committee will have to present a formal resolution. But Mari, if you remember when they first presented this prior to the pandemic, do you remember when I asked them the question is, what input did you get from the neighborhood? Right? When well, that's I what we're doing now, though, Robert, because but that's what this this is all about. That's why they're having these public sessions no, no, that we I, need to go to. No, no, Lori, I understand that. But, but prior to the pandemic, they mm -hmm. said it was going to be the t 10 biggest train stops. They didn't care about anything else. They didn't care about anything else. They didn't have anything on this side of Brooklyn at all. So, right. so now I know, but this is this is where this is our opportunity to speak up on it. And the other thing was that um, someone on another board had said that they reviewed the Bronx bus redesign, and they did listen to community input, and they was like two other final plans. So they actually do listen to what the public says. So I think that's why it's important that we meet now, that we go to the public session and that we meet again afterwards and come up with our list of what we disagree with and where we would like to see changes. I understand that. And that's all fine, well, and good. But they should have at least, you know what, if they didn't do anything in this to, to get their ideas from this community to begin with before they even started the process, it's, it's a poison tree from the beginning anyway. 
I know, but now I know I understand that I'm not disagreeing with you at all. But what I'm saying though, that now is our opportunity to speak up and we need to take it. So uh, we need to be a cohesive group with our recommendations and suggestions in terms of where we want to see improvements. So let's, should we just, let's flag this one as a follow-up that we want to know where that location is going to be um, at Stillwell? Yeah, <laughs> that would be uh, uh, a thing to look into. Yeah, no, we'll, well, there's no reason why we can't bring it up when we go to the public session. Just so I, I know we just went over the B1, but there's a concern that I have on the B1. They moved the 25th Avenue stop. They removed the 24th Avenue stop, but they're now moving that 25th Avenue stop on the far side um, by up there by up there by the church instead of where it was in front of in front of 7 Eleven. Um, I have concerns that people are going to cross in the middle of the street where there's no traffic control device to get that bus. And that's going to cause an issue, especially with the students that are going to come from Cavallaro that use the 24th Avenue stop and also those that are coming up the block from 101. So, Monty, could you go back to that slide for a sec? That was sure. the B1. Sorry. That's all right. Okay. Because that's what, as we're going through these slides, this is when we got to bring it out when we're going through these slides. So like if there's any concerns or any issues you see with it, say it. Let's talk about it now. That's what we're here for. No, no, I know. If you look at what was originally proposed when we did, when they did the um, uh, safe, safe buses to campaign, they had intended to move that bus stop from where the 7-Eleven stop is used to be now to the other side. I don't know if, that, if, if that's what they show on here, but when we did the DOT review, they weren't. They turned around and said that they were going to move that in front of the church and not in front of 7-Eleven where that medical place is. And that's a, that's a danger. So if we're going to ask, we're going to ask them for clarification on that stop as well. Can you see it, Monty, up close where it is? Does it show you? No, but I will go back to um, DOT's presentation. Okay. And make sure, and I'll confirm and send it out. So the issue, though, about that is about crossing the street. Yeah, because you got to remember, you got no buses that are on. You know, where it is now in front of 7-Eleven, you have a traffic safety light there where people can cross. Right. If they move it to the in front of where the church is, you, there's absolutely no control device there. There's no crosswalk. There's no there. Unless they're going to somehow implement uh, a traffic light there, then that would that would that would new new okay. you know it, it's crazy. What bus line were you saying about by Twenty uh, Fourth Avenue and Cavallaro? Oh no, because I know I've seen it because I live right here off Twenty Fourth Avenue. The students from Cavallaro walk down here to the one, and they normally catch it at Twenty Fourth and Twenty Fourth and Eighty Sixth Street. So if they're removing that stop, the only way for them to go and catch the bus now is to walk down the 25th Avenue stop. Okay. And if that and if that's not in a controlled location, I'm worried about kids in the street, especially in that busy part of section here. So can we can reconfirm where they're putting that stop? Sure. Okay, Doke. I don't know where we left off from before, Marnie. <laughs> and here I have the map showing the removal of the bus stops in purple both for eastbound on the bottom is the westbound bus stop removal. Now that that now that northbound is that is that both directions at Bay Park um Avenue P? Is that is that where that location is on the B4 by that school? Is that is that where that is by that school over there? Or, or do they just now going to force them across Bay Parkway and Avenue P to get to the school? I don't know. I can't tell from here. No, you have one on Bay Parkway. 
It's on Bay Parkway. They're moving. I'm sorry, where are you? Bay Parkway and Stowell. They're keeping. Okay. They're just removing the one on King's Highway. Okay, so that's, that's the one. By the gas. And then on the opposite side. Yeah. Okay, on the opposite side. Okay, so that again, for, instead of walking up from King's Highway, they're going to have to walk all the way across from those students. I don't think. I'm. I'm just. I'm just thinking about safety of students crossing large, large, large areas of that. <laughs> Listen, they're going to do what they want anyway. But if somebody gets hurt there because they did that, I just want to make sure that I say that. Yeah, but I. I believe. I mean, at this point. That um, that those schools have um, bus service and younger children who are being picked up and dropped off. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure if there are children traveling now. Okay, that's, that's a pretty big if. Yeah, and I wouldn't want my child crossing Stillwell, regardless. You know, either way, coming in or. So I think that's kind of a moot point there. You're What's driving, there? I mean, three, if you're concerned about that, there's, well, there's three schools in that building. One of them is District correct. 75, is all bust. One is an elementary, is not taking the bus. And the other one is a K to eight. And the junior high level, which would take public service, um, public transit, is it's a small amount of students because it's a small school to start with. Okay. Uh, so I'm not too concerned about them. And also because they come from, all over. I think a lot of them get picked up. And, okay, uh, listen, I'm just, I was just thinking about th thinking about that safety there, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's small on the junior high level there. The B5 Limited, this is a new route that's being proposed, um, primarily serving the same route path as the B6 Limited from Gravesend to East New York with a new connection to Gateway Center. It travels, travels primarily on Bay Parkway as the limited route stops would be spaced farther apart. And the proposed service hours are Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to midnight and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Bus stops would be added at existing B6 bus stops. And here I gave you just maps of the locations. The green are new. The B6 local travels from Gravesend to Canarsie, primarily on Bay Parkway. The proposed service hours are 24 hours daily with decreased service on weekends. The proposed route changes are um, the Shore Parkway segment is discontinued and will be served by the proposed B82. That sucks. The eastbound bus stop removal is Bay Parkway and 80th Street, Bay Parkway and West 10th Street. The eastbound is um, Bay Parkway and 62nd Street. And the proposed west, westbound bus stop removal is Bay Parkway and 61st Street and Bay Parkway and 65th Street, which if I can jump in, I don't understand because you have the end line at one block uh, south. Yeah, but- That's you, right. You, what's, that's but what's the next stop? The next stop is, um, was it like West 9th? Uh, so what is it, 68th Street or whatever it is? It's it's there's, <laughs> If you ask me, they should remove that other stop, the one that's in between, and keep the one on 65th Street. Money, go back again. 65th. Yeah, keep the one at 65th yeah. and get the other one after the 65th Street stop and remove that stop versus Bay Park. That stop. 
Monty, could you go back to that 60, other slide? 67, 67 is after 65th. Yeah, yeah, I was saying, get rid of the 67th Street bus stop and keep it this one. Anything that's oh. near a subway for a connection, I, I personally don't think should be removed. That's I, I don't either. Okay. Like I said, so keep this one, which is, I think, a, it, it helps with people crossing the street at 65th to go to the train. The one that is at 67th Street, it, it it's it's just in a weird spot. So it, All right. but it, I mean, but the major point that we have that we can make was about the one on 61st Street that it's close to the train station, and that shouldn't be removed because that's a connection. The 65th, you mean 65th Street, not 61st. Right. No, I mean 61st. Oh, no, 61st isn't near the isn't 60, near the train. 60, 65th Street is going to be the connection to the end train. Oh, I thought Marnie said 61st. I'm sorry. So it's 65th. That is correct. Gotcha. Marnie, what happened to you? You got knocked off? You're on mute. I don't understand why. Um, just one moment. Okay, so it was Bay Parkway in 65th, Marnie. Yeah, like I said, this, mm -hmm. this, just okay. sa save that one and get rid of the 67th Street stop because there's okay. really no bus stop to match that anyway. So match it off with the 65th with 65th Street stop. Okay. That way, at least, gotcha. at, at least the people are crossing at the corner there versus crossing diagonally across the 67th Street. Who with with an extreme Bay Parkway with traffic, uh, I see it all the time. I used to do it all the time, so I know it's it's just a little bit on the crazy side. Are we talking about the southbound side or westbound? Uh, it said, yeah, well, that, 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 that's that's going to be that's going to be the stop that's going towards Bay Thirty Eighth Street. Um, the one right. the the one that's going east. It stops literally in front of the train station. So going yep. the other way, they have one at 65th Street. Then you cross over to 67th Street. It the way the way it sets up here is they literally have to run diagonally across Bay Parkway well, at 67th Street when it should be 65th Street to 56th Street cross over there, where that it possibly would be more safe. Okay, cool. The, right. the one thing, if I if I could just bring up the 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 exit to the end train, is between you know if you cross Bay Parkway at either of the intersections with the lights, it you're crossing at 66 or 67. Correct. From the end train. All streets, all the streets there are diagonal, crossing yes. Bay Parkway. Correct. Okay, so basically the end. And on Bay Parkway, it, it, is yeah, it, it, it's a terrible interception. You don't, you don't say. Okay, good. So we that was the one about that sixty fifth and Bay Parkway is by the train. They should leave it alone. Westbound. Money, are you frozen? No, I'm coming. Oh, I'm okay. just right into. <laughs> I can't tell if you're frozen okay. enough now. No, sorry. Yeah, I don't know why I'm having a problem. I never do. Bay Parkway and Bay Ridge Avenue and Bay Parkway and 77th will both re be removed to improve speed and reliability. Who's speed and who's reliability? Like I said, it goes back to they just want to make buses run faster so they can give us less service, but hey. It is what it is. That, that, you know, I, I can't see that it does not make the buses run faster. I'm sorry. It makes people work, walk further to get to a bus stop. And that, to me, is wrong. If I, if I remember correctly, reading the materials, they say removing a bus stop will save 15 seconds. That's, that's their own I, claim. Yeah, okay. Yeah, who comes up with that? Bay Morning, what do ridiculous. you mean there about that uh, new stop? If it's unsure if it's that exists, that's like a block. That's right by the JCH on seventy nine. Correct. Correct. So they're adding a new stop here, and 
Bay Parkway and 80th Street is being moved to a new stop location. So they're switching these around. Okay. Bay Parkway and 82nd Street, a new stop location on Munshore. Um, Bay Parkway and 83rd Street moved to a new stop location. They're not oh. giving the um, exact locations. You, you know, you have to infer. But I these would, questions will get answered, I guess. I would infer that they're moving the 83rd to the 82nd. <laughs> well, that that's what I would infer, but you never know. Okay. Do we want to ask that? Of yeah. course. Okay. I, I'm just not really sure why they would move it a block. Um, you, you know, that area is a naturally occurring retirement community. Um, we have many older residents. It could be, you'll see on the map when you see the space and why I have a little bit of concern. So the, um, the Westbound, Crops, uh, Cropsy Avenue and 23rd Avenue, they're adding it at an existing stop and Cropsy and Bay 37th they're also adding at an existing stop. Uh, that, uh, now let me just ask you that question. Are, um, the Cropsy at 37th Street stop, that's where the Select 82 is gonna stop and the new six limited and local gonna stop. Now, because I, yeah. I think this is what you discussed, what we talked about, uh, how are they gonna manage that? First of all, there's no left turn signal for them to turn around uh, here, coming out of the Bay Thirty, coming out of the Bay Thirty Seven Street stop. I don't know what they're proposing here. Uh, how to do that? Now you're going to have now. It's hard enough when you have one bus there. Okay, the eighty two that turns around there, the select bus. But now you're adding three bus lines that are going to be ter that going to be terminating at that location. Robert, that's why I was concerned. We can't handle what we have. <laughs> yeah, you don't say, really, it's just crazy. Exactly. No. And, and then between Bay Park, uh, Bay Parkway and Cropsey Avenue, they were moving, as well as the stops on Shore Parkway between Bay Parkway and 26th Avenue. And then westbound Bay 37th Street, they were moving due to new routing. Wait, westbound. Westbound, the 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 B B uh, six is not Can turning I move, on. Uh, move the panel. Well, right. So so the actually then the west stop then oh this is actually half half good here here here. See, here's your answer partial here. They're going to remove that Bay 37th Street stop, which is by the apartment building. So actually, technically, the last stop will be 24th Avenue, would be my guessing, because it's the same. They were removed to, due to routing. OK. But that's still, that that a, means 24th Avenue is going to be that last stop, 24th and Cropsey, because then they have to get to the left to go around. I, like I said, I don't know what they're. What they're um, um uh, right, and, and, and then are you going? And then, I'm sorry, and, we're delayed because of my internet. Not a problem, but that, but that's that, that's going to be half the problem. So now you're going to have all these buses waiting to make that left onto Bay 37 to go around, like the the 82 select bus goes now, without no type of turn signal there, with all that, with all those buses turning turning there. But again. We also don't know how often the buses are coming because they haven't given us that yet. I know they said headway. Well, that doesn't mean anything because you don't know how much how much time each of all these buses going to come together is 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 the thing here. I I think that's one of the biggest problems on the Bay Parkway um, segment. You have so many buses bunching that they but, can't gain access. And on Cropsey Avenue, they're double parked and laid over. I mean, um, 
it's something that we really have to look at because the conditions today and then adding additional routes, I'm not sure if they're removing from the well, um, from the other route and well, add it to the B5. See, unless you're adding places to store buses in local locally, which we don't know that they've done that. I don't think they have. I haven't heard of, it, heard of anything here. So it's just basically moving buses around basically from one side to the other side. But my question here is, is if they're renting all these buses to pay parkway, now you're gonna have the five limited. Now you're gonna have them all going to here, you're going there. My question here is, is their intention to put a bus line somewhere on Bay, on Bay Parkway would be my next question. You're gonna have all this service going up Bay Parkway. Really, is that, is that, their, is that something they haven't told us yet? They didn't, they're going to make it a priority corridor, but I don't know what that entails because they haven't brought any of well, if you look at all these changes, of course, something's in the works. No, but if you look at what they did for all the other priority corridors, mm -hmm. that means there's a bus lane coming there. Because if you look at, you look I'm at not going to guess on, on what they're going to do, but um. Yes, there is reference and, and we could ask that question. These are questions we have to put forward on the record. Yeah, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here I printed out the eastbound on my, I'm looking at the screen, my left, westbound on the right. Um, purple uh, is the remove stops, blue one new. B6 Limited, Gravesend to East New York, tra travels primarily on Bay Ridge Parkway to Stillwell Avenue. Um, the proposed service hours, Monday through Friday, 4.30 to 10.30 p.m., Saturday, 6.30 a.m. to 10.30 p.m., <laughs> Sunday from 10 to 8 p.m., that's new service. Um, the routing change is discontinued segment on Shore Parkway, and there's a slight decreased service Monday through Saturday. See, now my question is going to be is what's the decrease in service, especially when you have kids going to Brooklyn College? <laughs> Just saying. But although I do like the limited, I do, I do like the limited service on Sundays, though, uh, on Sundays. The eastbound bus stop changes across the avenue into 23rd Avenue, removed to improve speed and reliability. The same on Cropsey and Bay Parkway and Benson Avenue, and Bay Parkway and 83rd Street. Bay Parkway and 80th Street and Bay Parkway and 78th. <sighs> Bay Parkway and West 12th and Bay Parkway and West 10th. And then we go to the eastbound, Bay Parkway and 64th Street and 62nd Street. Um, oh, I think I just messed that up. Westbound 61st Street, 63rd Street. Bay Parkway and 65th Street. Bay Parkway and Bay Ridge Avenue. Bay Parkway and 71st and 77th. Eightieth Street and Eighty Third Street, Eighty 
Bay Parkway and Benson Avenue, Cropsey Avenue and Bay 37th Street add at the existing stop. And here are the stops, all the purple, all the removed stops. Marnie, if these stops are being taken up by the B5, is that why they're removing them? So it's duplicating service. You also have the 82, correct, Robert? Yeah, you're going to have the 82 in terms of King's Highway, but you'll, you'll have the five uh, duplicating service, I believe, at the same moved bus stops. Those, those, so the, I think those bus stops are being removed so they can provide faster service, but you're going to have to walk more to, yeah. to a bus stop. Yeah, big deal. I think there's a lot of duplication because I was looking at the maps and they say, well, the B82 is with the B4 and the B9, and the B8 is with the B17, B35. I mean, that's that's duplication, unless one of them is express or limited, as they say. Well, you're going to have the B6 limited still, and you're going to have the B5, uh, the B5 limited, and then yeah. you're going to have the B6 local, Oof. the B82 local, and the B82 select bus all running on parts of Bay Parkway. Same route, really. That's, right. that's, that's, why I, that's why I said to you, I think the only way they get around that is if they make a bus lane to keep everybody moving with all these buses going down Bay Parkway. Like something in the middle, you mean? Yeah, that, yeah you, wouldn't take out, you wouldn't take out a parking lane. You would take out the right traffic lane and that would be a Bus only lane, like 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 they've done on Utica Avenue and certain other locations where they put a bus lane in, but I had a feeling that was coming. Moving on to the BA service between Fort Hamilton and Brownsville. It travels on the portion of Cropsey Avenue and then most of 18th Avenue. Service hours are 24 hours a day. Service or no change. This is the one that goes by uh, the B8, goes by, by um, the Veterans Hospital. The veterans and they are removing stops by the veterans. So I don't know from, I mean, that's not in CB11, but I don't know no. how many of our folks in CB11 will be affected by that. You may have those that go to school or whatever else that may take that. Cause I've, se I've seen it. I, I have friends that are on the B8 now and they do carry a bunch of people going both directions. But if they're taking out the VA, that would be a definitely ink a definite cut in service because you have some bus, you have some BH that turn around at the VA and some that go to Bay Ridge. Are they going to maintain that gap going all the way to towards the VA, even though it wouldn't stop inside the VA, it probably would stop on the outside of the VA. Yes, it's going to still go past the VA, but I don't, I think they're removing the stops inside. It's going to be on the outside. Yeah, because I see the route is not changed there. I just kind of, I also I, I think they're also removing the stop by 14th Avenue, which is by the park. And we border that because one so side is removing... 11 and the other side is 10. Look on 14th Avenue. And Cropsy. Just one moment. They are keeping the VA hospital main entrance at Bay 3. They're keeping. They're removing Poly Place at 7, and they're removing um, the Cropsey Avenue Veterans Hospital. So I don't know. So they're keeping the that they're, is they're, they're, keep, they're, keep, they're keeping the inside, but they're getting one the, the, the one that's directly outside of the VA. That's the one they're going to get rid of. Uh, 
I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. So they're keeping the stops inside the VA and there's actually one stop that's outside of the VA on the street that that's the one they're gonna remove. So again, that would be my I'm question. not sure based upon their grid. Well, yeah, that's the questions we gotta ask, but my question would then also be, mm -hmm. if you're gonna keep that VA in there, are you keeping the same service? Or are you sending all the buses one direction, meaning um, Bay Ridge to, um, and they're just doing it inside? Because by the VA hospital, there is a layover for buses there. That's how you get the two buses that go down 18th Avenue. You get a VA bus coming and a bus coming from, from Bay Ridge in both directions. So that question we got to ask that is, are they keeping that or are they changing that? Whether it's actually the because they're gonna, like I said the bus stop they're removing is on the outside not the inside, right? And I just I'm just saying, do we want to mention that if we have people? I really don't know what we have coming from our right. neighborhood to the VA because it's technically it's not within our CV. We could ask the question that we have concerns about people that may be traveling from Bath Beach. For sure. And they're also removing on 14th Avenue and Cropsey, which is by the park. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have loss of access to the park. Yes, yes, you are. <laughs> I think the power, if we probably haven't looked into the express, I bet you they're going to remove that stop by the park too. I'm just looking on the map. You ready for me to go ahead? Sure. Okay. Just one moment. Uh, eastbound bus stop changes, Cropsey and 15th Avenue and Cropsey and Bay 17th. Right. Uh, okay. So where are they proposing so that was so, oh okay the bay the 15th avenue stop is, is basically a double stop because they stop at 16th avenue um it's a a back-to-back -back bus stop there okay get rid of one of them here is now my question here that why would they remove that bay, that bay 17 shot what are they going to make them all walk from bath avenue no, because you just said it's on 16th Avenue and Bay 17th is really close to that. Okay, so then you're still gonna, you're, you're losing two stops. You're losing two stops and only and really using one now. So you're losing, you're losing 15th Avenue. So all the people are gonna get off mm -hmm. and walk. Okay. Huh? <laughs> uh. And you have Cropsey and Bay 7. Yeah, but that's that's on the other side of Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have that one. So you have that one by uh, 7, and you have the 15, uh, the 16th Avenue stop, and then the next stop, you're going to do that. You won't pick up another stop on Cropsey. The next stop after 16th Avenue will be on Bath Avenue, Bath and, Bath and 18th, because there is no other stop there. The hell is going on here? That's what. That's why when I said when when they when they first came out with this, I asked them, "Who thought of that?" <laughs> Somebody behind the screen. Because <laughs> here we are at 18th Avenue and 86th Street, which has a bus stop full of people, and they're proposing to remove it. Okay, that's so a transfer point too. Correct. Yeah, that trans that transfers to the B one. Yeah, I, um, and it's not like it, that's also that's also a relief point for drivers. So I don't know whether put under how they're making that all work, but 
Yeah, that's a major stop. That's a transfer for those that are going to go to the college. Well, Listen, it's, I mean, it's transfer it's, both ways. Right. I, I mean, and these look like community residents that are shopping along the avenue and then going north. Um, are they adding a stop to 85th Street? No, there no, is there's one there. Uh, right. 85th no. Street already has a bus stop. Correct. And you'll see it in the route map. Okay, so then, so if there's one on 85th and they're getting rid of 86th and 84th, there's one stop in between them. I'm not seeing. If, no. you, if you ask me, I think you move remove the 85th Street stop, which is probably in a better position, and leave the 86th Street stops. Okay, you can't. And you can't remove either one. The reason is the 85th Street is right by the D line, which is upstairs. People come down and they grab the bus, okay? The 86th Street is the transfer between the B1 uh, either way, north to south. So you can't, you don't want to get rid of that. I, I, so I, we, both stops are, are, are needed. I agree with you. I wouldn't remove these two stops at all. But if I had to get rid of one, and then this said in my theory here is 86th and 18th is literally right up the block from the D train. If you had to choose one to... If I, if they said to pick one to lose, I'd turn around and pick and lose the 85th Street and have everybody go to 86th Street. Again, because you still have access to the train and you still have access to the B1. And it's a short block. Correct. That is, yeah, that, that, but that, you're that, missing that. the connection. See, it's, it's so still basically, long. we're saying to them to do the opposite of what they're doing. That's what I would say, but that's just me. I wouldn't have um, either one removed. Part because of the challenge is that you can't, the MTA doesn't produce um, utilization numbers by bus stop for us to review and, and see how many people are actually using these stops. They only have it by line. Um, it would have made our lives much easier to have those numbers if they even have them. Um, I, I'm not I, sure they do. I yeah. can tell you. Both bus stops are crowded, to be honest with you. I take, I take the uh, 8 quite frequently to, to 95th Street. And both the 86th Street, both ways, because they connect to the B1 on, on, on both ways, west or east. And the train station, as soon as the train comes in, you got to see the man there, they come to the bus. If the bus is in, stop. You're, you're, you're killing the people. You're putting them. I mean, the reliability is, is you're going to kill the reliability of the trains. The train bus connection. To be honest with you, I've seen it. I trust me. I agree. I agree with you, Jeff. I'm not saying you, they should, should shouldn't remove either of these. The 84th Street stop. Uh, okay, it's not. So we can take that position. So we're saying want, just the opposite of what they're saying is to keep these two stops and remove the 85th. No, the 85th yeah. you want. 84th. You will no. remove the 84th Street stop. Remove the 84th Street stop and keep these two at 85th and 86th Street. The uh, church. I agree with that. The 80, 84th, 84th Street stop is in front of the church. Mm -hmm. Okay, that can be removed. Just, you know, a couple of people here and there to get on it. Actually, matters you have the picture down on the bottom on the screen. The, 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 down, the picture below is that 84th Street stop. But well, let me ask you a question. How do you validate keeping 86th and 85th a block apart? What's it's like not the, the reason it's a block apart. It's a it's, connection between the, it's a connection transfer rate for the bus to the subway, subway to the bus. And right, the but B1 that's the 86th transfers. Street stop. But that's the 86th no, stop. No, no, no. 86th Street is the B1 transfer. 85th mm -hmm. Street is the D line to the buses or the buses to the D line. Um, that's, That's a hard sell. Well, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a fact that, you know, first of all, you're talking about re, 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 uh, these reliability. About transportation hub. No, I understand that, but the way that they're trying to remove stops and, and increase the space oh. in between stops, I'm just saying with them, I think it's, it's probably a hard sell. Not to say that, we shouldn't why, try, that, but. Lori, that's what, that's actually why, that's actually why I agree with you. It's going to be a hard sell. If they came to us and said, to, we want to remove one of these two, we don't want to remove any of them. 
But if we had to remove one of the two, 84th. I, I would do the 85th Street stop and make everybody walk to 86th Street because that's the stop that's back to back. But I don't want to use either one of 85th or 86th to be removed. The 84th Street stop can go. It's it, it's like three stops in a row at this point. Right. That's what I was saying to you. It's a hard sell even to try to like <coughs> with the two, but we can try. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm, 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 I want to make a comment here. I mean, you know, we're knocking ourselves out left and right. The bottom line is, it says here for the uh, uh, to improve uh, speed and reliability. Speed and reliability to who? To the MTA or to the consumers? The customers that would take the buses. They have to walk further to the buses. A lot of elderly people, especially on the B8, cannot take that walk. They're removing bus stops for the sake of their reliability and their speed. It has nothing to do with the with the people that actually take the transit. And I think it's wrong. I, I, I really do. That's why, remember when I said to you, they're doing it for their bottom line. They can make buses run faster. Oh, that's, that's, that's right. That, that, that's, good for, that's good for them. That means that- that That's for them. That's for them to show the feds, hey, look, we're on time. Who, who cares about? I agree with you. I already said that. that that's what this is all about. Okay. So, so we have concerns about those two on my list. I'm moving on. 18th Avenue and 79th Street and 18th Avenue and 70th Street. Again, that one they're, appears they're, to be. They're, they're going to cite um, for speed and reliability. Okay. <laughs> uh, to, 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 right. To, to, but that's a utilized stop, too. That is correct. Mm -hmm. so, so, tell the businesses in the area now, you're, now your customers have to work farther to get where they want to go to your store. Okay. And if you look at it at the very bottom of 18th Avenue, they're going to do also uh, a bus lane for part of 18th Avenue. I don't think it comes all the way into us, but I know they, they intend to make somewhat of a priority corridor down the far end of 18th Avenue. So I don't know how that plays into the, or, or as far as their service concerns. But that's something we should ask. Eighteenth Avenue and sixty six and sixty second. We move on to the westbound. Opposite on eighteenth and sixty second. And 66. Um, I'm not so sure we removed the 18th Avenue and 62nd Street stop nope. in either direction. If I'm not mistaken, that's now the end that train. Is, that's going to be the end train. That's the end train on 62nd. That is correct. Oh, wait a second. I have westbound 18th Avenue and 62nd remove. That's going to be that's going to be the end train. That's the end train is right there. No, it's 64th Street, Robert. What's 64th? The end train. Between 64th and 63rd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do we know where there's another bus stop over there? Those are the two. The well, one Marnie mentioned is one, and the one they're proposing to eliminate is the other. They're on either side of the of the train station. So they're removing 62nd. They're keeping 64th and removing 66. Eighteenth Avenue and New Utrecht Avenue. They're removing. That's the connection to the train right there. The D is right there. 
that, 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 that's going to be the same situation that we have with the 86th and 85th Street stop. Well, I think that one we should speak up about. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I don't know, in the past they spoke regarding these access points, right? Between the bus and the train. Why would you take the ability um, for people to travel that way at major hubs? I mean, that's a heavily, heavily utilized station. 18th Avenue and Cropsey removed. Yeah, so that, 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 that will actually just prove my point. So now after Bath Avenue and 18th Avenue, the next stop is Cropsey and 16th Avenue. So you now know none of anybody else from Bath, from Bath Avenue all the way up to 16th Avenue has a stop until then. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull it up on the map and we'll, we'll see how they're spaced. Cropsey and 15th Avenue is removed. Yeah, but that has a double That's stop. A That's awful anyway, um, especially in rush hours. Then I'm like, That's why I wasn't, uh, that's why I really wasn't concerned about the 15th Avenue stuff because they're having 16th Avenue and, and now, they'll, now they're just taking out the bad stop, basically. But once you pass 16th Avenue, the next stop is going to be all the way up at Bath Avenue. Correct. And there you have it on the map. All the purple are the removed stops. That's that's just that's gonna be that what you're showing here is only part of it. You didn't see the cropsy side of it, but it's gonna be some of the same thing. That's the um, uh, it's on the bottom left. Uh, bottom left. Yeah. This yeah. is Cropsey uh, yeah, Avenue. Uh -huh. Yeah. Really? Uh, Are you ready? Yes. We're ready to go home. I am. B64. Sunset to Coney Island travels primarily on Bath Avenue. The routing change will travel on Cropsey Avenue instead of Harway Avenue. The proposed service hours are daily 4.30 a.m. to 1.30 a.m. with a slight increases in service or no change during those times. So that means we actually have to get a comparison of what service, uh, what the actual service change is between the 82, which is being removed from there, and the headway that the 64 is going to be laying out because that's going up there to the supermarket or whatever else that, that is. So we just need to be careful that they're not taking the 82 away and just leaving us with a 15 or 20 minute between buses going up Cropsey Avenue going to Coney Island. Does that want to go to Stop and Shop or Home Depot for that matter? Sorry, northbound uh, route changes, Harway Avenue and Bay 41st. And I can't see down now. Okay, Cropsey and 26th Avenue, added existing stop. Bath Avenue and 25th Avenue, removing to improve speed and reliability, and Bath Avenue and 19th Avenue. The southbound changes, Bath Avenue and Bay 20th Street, remove, and Bath and 25th Avenue. Well, maybe if the trucks weren't parked there and the cars weren't parked there, we would have better speed and reliability. I have an issue with the northbound. Because the northbound is going to end, and it's not in our district, but it's going to end 
early, like on Fourth Avenue. And we have tons of students. I see them every morning taking mm -hmm. that B64 on Bath Avenue to go to Severian. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to go there. It's going to go to Fourth Avenue and like whatever, 60 something street. And yep. then also it's not going to go to the pier. That, uh, that's, uh, but that, but you're also, but yes, I agree with you. I wholeheartedly agree with you. Now they're only going to have in, those that go, that come from our area that go to Zavarian, they're going to need, need to take two buses just to get to the same school where they only take one now. That's for one. For two, I said, I also have the same concern here is that you're moving it from one to here. What's the likely service? Because especially with down there by the hospital, it's quite crazy down there. And the service, I want to make sure that they're uh, going to make sure that they put enough service out here uh, with buses not getting stuck over there by the hospital because it can be a little bit on the insane side. Right. Well, they're going to, I mean, it's not going to well, affect us per se, but once it gets to Bay Ridge, it's going to stay on Fourth Avenue to go to NYU. Well, Lori. And, and I mean, people who utilize the ferry service at the pier, if if they're traveling by public transportation, right, you would take the 64 maybe to get into the city, correct? No, now you don't, but you would once they change it because it's going to go to NYU. No, I'm saying presently there could be commuters, right? Oh, yeah, I, I'm not sure about that. Because okay. it currently goes to the pier. Well, yeah, but that pier doesn't have any ferries there. Yes, the absolute, yes absolute, it does. Absolutely. No, does. That, that, that 69th Street Pier? Absolutely yes. Does have ferries There's service. another, maybe I'm confusing it with the other pier that's down by NYU. Oh, yes. Yes. Because that's why I'm saying now it's going to. They're now it doesn't go there, but it will go there. Correct. You are correct. So once again, they're limiting transportation options, right? <laughs> yes. A absolutely. <laughs> okay. And they're not doing they're not doing this to help the people, they're doing this to help them. That's true. This whole design is to help them. Okay. Again, when 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 it came out, I and you could ask my wife. I said, "What are they smoking, really?" Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no, no, no offense. I said to my, I said because when I came out, I looked right out. I'm like, "What are they smoking?" I mean, is this what the? Is this exactly what they do? They they screw Southern Brooklyn all the time. Every time they get us, every time they get a chance. And here are the route maps. Blue are new proposed bus stops, purple are the removals. Uh, I think I'm frozen. I hear you. I know, but uh, my picture is frozen. Um, uh, B82 local, Gravesend and Spring Creek Tower. Local. Um, okay. It travels primarily on Bay Parkway to Kings Highway and then travels along Kings Highway. The routing change, it will travel on Shore Parkway to replace the B6 service. The proposed service hours are 24 hours a day. And again, my question is going to be here is, is what is the service difference by the six that's currently there by what the 82 they're proposing to do? Because that is okay. that, that, that is a very big question considering that Caesars Bay and you got BJ's and you got all that down there. So I think we need to ask that moment. question. Just give me a moment. From what they're showing, the morning peak on the B6, is eight minutes and on the 82 it's nine so it's basically one less bus mm -hmm. correct that's one less bus an hour midday from nine to 1 p.m 
Uh, on the six, it is nine minutes. And on the 82, it's 11. Like I said, a cut in service. Yeah, and also it makes it harder because now people have to transfer from the six to the 82 to get to the uh, Caesars Bay area. And, and not only for, listen, I think it's a concern um, for the workers. It's, it's a 24 hour, hour operation at the uh, at Caesars Bay, you know, Target has overnight workers, BJ's. So does uh, BJ's, yeah. Yeah, Kohl's, they all do. So my question here is for those workers that go, that go to that 24 hour, what's that spread? I'm not sure if they gave you that. <laughs> How much service are we losing during that time? On the overnight? Yeah, when the workers come in, because it is a 24 hour, it, it is a 24 okay. hour service. So on the 82, on the late evening, for 8 p.m. to midnight, it's 13 minutes. And on the 6, it's 9 minutes. Again, more cut in service. <laughs> That's right. And weekends on both, it's 11 and 13, uh, 11 minutes and um, 13. On Sunday on the 82, it's 18 minutes. Route changes. They're removing the Cropsey and 26th Avenue stop due to the rerouting and 25th Avenue. Propsy and Bay 31st. And then we go up to Bay Parkway and 80th Street. Kings Highway and West 5th Street. Um, Kings Highway and West 2nd Street, as well as West 6th Street. Where's the train on Kings Highway? Uh, West, um, West 8th, West 7th Street, we're right there. Mm-hmm. Kings Highway and West 12th. And then we're coming back to Bay Parkway and 80th Street. We're going westbound now. Bay Parkway and 83rd. And Bay Parkway and 82nd, there will be a new stop location. They're adding three stops at the existing bus stops along the Shore Parkway segment. And they're removing the existing stops on Cropsey Avenue from Bay Parkway to 26th Avenue. And here's the local route map. Again, the purple is the removal of stops and the green on new stops. Well, that's a lot of purple. Yeah. Lots and lots of walking for people. Yeah, what about people that can't walk that far? I agree with you, Jeff, I agree. I'm just saying, this is what they yeah. do. My wife's gonna have, oh boy. You know, oh, I like that guy. B82. Yeah, I. Is I, it Crosstown SBS? What the hell is that? Yep. Yeah. So that that travels between Gravesend and Spring Creek Towers. It is a priority corridor. 
Um, there were no routing or bus stop changes. Frequencies increased on the weekdays, midday and early evenings to 10 minutes or better. And the service hours on Monday through Friday, 4.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. What's that, the SBS? Mm -hmm. That's That takes the same as the uh, 82 local. That's the same stops. Yes, but they were limited. The select bus is basically the limited, uh, the limited version of the 82. Right, and it's a cross town route. Yeah, you know, it covers, I, mm -hmm. I, I, this is overkill. I mean, it kills, it's the same thing as the 82. So, that, you know, to me, it's, it's a waste of money to have this, it really does. And then we're moving on to exciting stuff. Oh yeah, what the BM8? I don't know how they come up with all these these nonsense. And then you got the BM8C. <laughs> oh, this yeah. is so much fun. So the BM8 was formerly the X28, and it runs from Gravesend to downtown Manhattan. The segment is not changing with our district. However, service terminates at Dwayne Thomas Street in the city. The service hours are weekdays, inbound 6.30 a.m. to 9 a.m., outbound 4 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Now, this is exactly as the uh, X-28? Yeah, they right now they have uh, the 28, which does a downtown trip, and they have one that does a midtown trip during rush hour, and the 38 would normally go do the midtown route. Um, similar to that, but a little on the crazy side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why they, they created these two buses i mean it does the same thing it does now so you know i, I don't know i don't know how they decide all this stuff to be honest with you it doesn't make any sense correct so on the right is you see the dashed black line is all the discontinued service that's where the that's actually where the um issues are going to be mm-hmm you know what, you, you really, those that want to go into Midtown, it's going to be on the little on the crazy side. Yeah. So what line's going to go into Midtown then? You're going to have the, the Midtown bus, which is, what is it, the 3M, BM, whatever the hell, BM, uh, it's another local bus. Um, BM8C. Okay, there you go. <laughs> it's an off-peak combo variant of the existing 28. Um, there's no route changes within our district. And on the right, you see the service hours. Now, both of them run along uh, Crossy. Well, they always did. Yeah, but if you look, but if you look at that now, that expression to Midtown stops after six thirty. Correct. Uh, and then, so what are those people doing from 6.30 to 8.30? You're going to take whatever, the, that, that is a service call when you have people that I know that came actually asking me about this, mm -hmm. um, about their service that I have to go into Midtown like that. That's... Yeah, so so we, we received feedback on this. Um, on weekdays, there's no service inbound to Manhattan afternoon, and it eliminates five buses altogether. And there's no service outbound from Manhattan before two, which would eliminate five buses. Saturday, and um, there's no outbound service before noon and Sunday, nor on Sunday. Um, the resident states that they've also decreased the frequency of the buses and other time periods. This is especially prejudicial against seniors who mainly travel during the day in these two ways. Yeah, well, that, remember- and I, also, I, I, also, the changes would restrict the reduced fare seniors to exactly four buses to get into the city, all before noon 
and exactly one bus to get out of Manhattan before the higher fare kicks in. The reduced rate Metro card for the express bus charges full fare for the hours between 6 and 10 a.m., the morning rush, and the evening rush between 3 and 7, no matter which way you are going. Um, and they go on to say that this is not true for the Long Island Railroad or Metro North, um, which is true except for those buses traveling to New York City terminals. So uh, if you see- I, I think we should put this on our list. Absolutely, well, that's why I'm reading it into the record. Is so anybody, anybody okay with that? So therefore, older seniors are forced to pay full fare on the express bus. Right. Doctors, when I said, when I said, yeah, I'm, I'm all, I agree with that. But this yeah. is, uh, remember, when, I think when I, when we first talked about this, and I said, and I said, well, they cut service on the express. You, you gave me the look like, uh, yeah, they did cut service on the express. That's gonna, mm -hmm. that's gonna alienate everybody else. But if you look at what they did on the 27, which we don't, that, that doesn't encompass our testing, they kept actually more service over there than they did over here. Go figure. So I will write that up and I'll send you, Lori, the blurb. And here's the route map. Blue or new, purple or the removed. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even think of that. Really? So. I also think the removal of, even though it's in our colleague and good friend, uh, CB10 portion up on 86th Street and 14th Avenue. Yeah, that's actually what I was just, that's actually what that's I was just reacting to when I said, like, wait a minute, what's this? Right yeah, so I believe they're going to move it, um, I guess, west or north, west, I apologize, west towards 13th Avenue. That's a long, long hike. And those people are probably our people coming from outside there. Of course. Okay. Again, another service cut. <laughs> so yeah. put that one down they, too then. Yeah, they shouldn't remove that. That that We share that stop. That you that right now it that stop is shared by the B one and the Express and the sixty four. No, no, we mean yeah, that we share it with CB. We share it with CB ten. She means yeah. That the people are, even though it's on a CB ten side, it's our people coming from the other side of eighty six Street. It's both. I mean, it's it's those you know bordering Diker and Bensonhurst. Yeah, we'll just go one block on yep. those. That's eleven. So yeah, okay. yeah. Yep. And then we have the 38, which is the new BM38. The segment is not changing within our district. However, it will no longer travel through Coney Island to Seagate. We yeah, do... so, see, see, now that even, clear, that even clearly shows the service change, uh, the service cut, the, 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 the X20 is getting across the board. Because now after nine o'clock, there's literally no service into Midtown at all. Correct. That's a little unfair, don't you think? Uh, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. So I, I, I think when we come together, I mean, we're, we're going to, to attend this public meeting. I think we'll come up with a formal resolution. Absolutely. After that point for the, the full board. Um, outbound 3 to 7.30. So I get. So I guess anybody that works after seven uh, uh, after seven o'clock in the city doesn't get has to either take the train or take a bus downtown to catch the express bus. <laughs> and these are the proposed bus stop changes. I just didn't have an opportunity to map it. I just printed it out. Okay. There, see, that, see, well, if you look at here now, they moved it to 26th Avenue, 
versus 25th Avenue. Now you, yeah, while you may get a connection with the 64, you're now eliminating the express connection to the three in both directions. So they took that out in both directions. So instead of being at 25th Avenue, where they can catch, or people can come from the three, where I've seen that to be the case, when I used to drive the three, they would what? take they would take the three there to so they can catch the express bus. Listen, we we know we know about the development on Cropsey Avenue and the amount of new units that are coming there, right? Yeah, and they're removing all those stops in the vicinity of that residential development. So we have two fifty. 350, 500 residential units, give or take, just on Cropsey Avenue between 23rd and Bay Parkway. Sorry. Okay. Okay. It, 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 it's just absolutely. So, so they need to keep. So maybe that's so something that we should bring up. At the very minimum for people. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying about the this, you know, all the development that's coming that they don't know about that it should be brought up in our. Oh, well, they should know. They have planners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that but their planners are looking at it from a screen point. They're not looking at it. Okay, you know what? Let's go and see actually how this works out. Um. Trying if to keep they up. did, they wouldn't propose what they're proposing for the vicinity of Omar Park Depot. Absolutely, 100%. Yep. So they're taking away at the very minimum the Bay Parkway, uh, the Cropsey and Bay Parkway, Bay 31st Street stops for express bus users. Basically. Yep. And we're adding, I don't know, you know, what that working population will be, but there's a lot of new units coming there and they should have access to transit. Yeah, they're gonna they, but they what they want is they want every they want everybody to go to the local so they can take it to the train more instead of so instead of that's what exactly what they're doing. They're gonna force everybody to take it to the train so where they can provide more service. Hence. Do you remember the MTA's plan was to, uh, all the other lines are getting upgraded, uh, upgraded signals are here. The D train is going to be the last one, and that was back then, at least 10 years from when they started, that we're going to get the updated signals. No offense. Recently, all the trouble with the D train, really? I mean, how, 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 how we're not saying, wait a minute, now you can't do this. This is, this is absolutely insane. You're basically strapping our neighborhood. Of service. Okay. Uh, bottom line is this is a disaster. That was it. That's it. That was a lot of pages. That's it. <laughs> Thank it's you, Monty, for putting that together for us, though, because that really awesome. made it made our life easier. So we have like a whole slew of of um, suggestions here. But I will definitely be on um, February 13th. 13th. Thir 13th. So. Yeah. If you'd like, uh, I will share the information with the committee. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yeah. please. And then, you know what? I mean, if we could, uh, Moni, if we have time. Yeah. Next week to put this together, you know, and send it to the committee beforehand of everything to make sure we didn't leave anything out. You got it. Do we get a, a link to that uh, to that February thirteenth? Yeah, I mean uh, I registered, but do we get something to join no, the? Uh... It, it's in the yeah. I don't know why they asked to register. I think maybe they wanted to know who was coming. Um, okay, but but yeah, the link they give you the link that you can just click on. You don't even have to register. Right, so like we do for the committees, which I didn't get by the way. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying uh, I, I have registered. I am planning to attend the 13th, do mm -hmm. we get uh, an email with the ID and the passcode? No. no, no, they don't send no. it. No, I registered. They so don't send do we, anything. How do we connect? 
because it's the link is right on that page where you go to register. It's right on that web page. Yes, but it, it, my question here is if you're not if if you're not registering, they're just going to allow people to talk out of turn there. And no, because where, anybody could go. It's the whole community that can go. Yeah. No, no, I I know I understand that, but um, from what I've been hearing, it, it, it's been a mess at these meetings for a little bit. But what did you? What hey, did so you, let's see who's going to come from CV 11s area. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm working on to continue because I've gotten things about the express and things about you know what it's just crazy would you share some of the concerns that you received in case we missed them so that we could put it together and review as a committee uh yeah well a lot of it is on the express a lot of it is on the express sure. a lot of them that that go to uh, that have kids that go to Zavarian mm -hmm. they're worried about how they're going to get from our neighborhood to Zavarian you know What's the, what's again the service? What's the service? Are they going to maintain what they have now? And you're going into a busy area, and then on that, but you're forcing them to change to actually get all the way to Zavarian. <laughs> Never mind this. Unless you're going to have them walk from Fourth Avenue all the way down to Zavarian. That's and a lot of avenues. He, it's it's downhill. It's steep. In a the winter avenues. time, it's on the time uh, on the winter. That's bad. Every morning I see them on Bath Avenue and 17th mm -hmm. Avenue waiting for the bus. And you know it's them with their khaki pants and blue shirts. I mean, it, it, it's that. Um, and and what line, I apologize for asking Robert, but you'll know this, to get to Fort Hamilton. <laughs> right, now, right, now, right now you have to take the B1 and then transfer to the 16. So they didn't even give they didn't even give us that. I figured when they proposed this that they, they would at least send the one all the way to Fort Hamilton. They didn't even do that. <laughs> and then and the changes that are coming on the 16 that take kids to Fort Hamilton. I can tell you right now the amount of kids that wait at Fourth Avenue that come off the one that come off the train to go to Fort Hamilton, it's absolutely insane. And I'm on the 16 now. So I could see it all day long. It's like, it's insane. So it's like, like I said, they're just trying to rip us a service. This is all this is. This is a service grab. They're going to they're gonna send our money to they'll send our service somewhere else. That's all it is. And never mind those runs that they can, they'll put a big, big double, double articulated buses. Watch, that's what's coming next. But do you remember, if you remember... We talked about a long time ago. I told them that they were before they went to the articulated on the B1. I said to them, This is what's coming. This is this is not a good idea. When before they added the articulated to the B1, it was a four minute headway or three minute headway. Now it's eight minutes, nine minutes. Could you imagine when they start removing stops? They're going to make it 10 minutes, 11 minutes. But that's what's coming. And then they're, they're, they're just trapping us. They don't. They don't care about us. That's that's bottom line. Okay, I just want to make sure. All right. Well, if you think of anything else. All right. I just I want wanna... to make sure there was no one from the public that wanted. Oh, did we look at Facebook? No, I didn't look. I'm looking. I shared the link. Let me just see. Bear with me for a moment. No. No. But I know I, I know for a fact that I have some I I know for a fact that I'm having a lot of people come to that February 13th meeting. Because they, they 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 absolutely so it was like enough. I would love to see a lot of people turn out. My only my only concern, and I brought this up to the MTA already, is that we have um a huge immigrant population. And we have a lot of seniors here. 
and they're not up on social media. So they're not knowing about this. They're not seeing this. Mm -hmm. And how do we plan to address that? And they said that they would do pop-ups for us, but we have to give them location. So that's another thing that we should think about. Do we want to have pop-ups? Like maybe on 86th and 18th. How about how about 86th you and Bay Parkway? How about you put a pop-up on 86th and Bay Park, 86th and 8, um, 14th Avenue for all the express customers? For all those that are transferring. No, but the express bus travelers are not an immigrant population. Uh, that, I, I, it's it's a mix. It's a it, it's it is a. It's not mix. the same thing as like you know people traveling on you know Bay Parkway, people traveling on 18th Avenue. It's totally different on taking those it's those a, people it's... will be aware of what's going on. I think it's the more immigrant populations that are not being reached. Because well, they, they're not reading this. No, well, the I, seniors. What about the seniors who don't have computers or don't go on computers? They don't I mean, know what's going on, and they're not going to be able to, to go on to these to this uh, workshop. But, that, that, but that's actually another question that I have when it comes to removing the 64. Do you remember in 2010, they removed the 64 going to that senior center, uh, the most, pre most precious blood senior center? Now you're taking that basically away from them. Now the seniors got to walk up from Cropsey all the way down to Harway to get to that senior center. Are they trapped? That's outside of our district, so I'm not. Yeah, but, but, but they do. Um, they do go there. That's that's the senior center. I'm just saying that's that's something also to consider because now they're really strapping people that want to go to that because. If you remember, that was what called for, for so that people can go to that senior center. You know what, Lori? What do you think about sending out this presentation to our community-based organizations, yeah. especially those that mm -hmm, with yeah. the information? Um, yeah. You know, we could ask for feedback, but also the information for the public meeting. And maybe they could share it with their okay. folks. Yeah. And they could explain it to them on how it's going to impact them. But I, I like I said, mm -hmm. it's not just the, yeah. with the CBOs, uh, with the immigrant populations. I feel like uh, the seniors are going to be impacted by this tremendously well, because of... they're not going well, online. Correct. But but most of our CBOs, especially um, those that have an immigrant or an ESL, clientele have seniors right now we but, can send it. but i'm just saying though Salvation the other thing Army, um, yeah you know, no no right no that's seniors. no that's a good idea that's definitely a good idea but what i was saying though is about the they offered, they said we would they would do pop-ups but we would need to give them locations oh for sure so i think we should you know think about that and 18th Avenue in 86, for mm. sure. Bay Parkway in 86. Parkway. I mean, Bay Parkway in 86 has like so many people. No, absolutely. Absolutely. You, you know, originally when, when they were doing, when they began the bus redesign way back when, um, that was one of the questions that we put forward um that I, we're I, I, on the 82 right you, you didn't come we had this discussion robert right we were concerned yes, absolutely where are the origins of these travelers and where are they going because our community was just the through community and that's exactly what that that's basically what they're doing here they're mm -hmm. basically minimizing the community here um and if you remember when they first came out with this bus redesign, I asked them flat out, bold face, how many pop-ups did you do compared to the rest of the borough? And and I think everybody at the time we were saying zero. We did none over here. Right. So I the, remember they went to I, I was, Coney Island. 
But right. I made sure I specifically asked this question about our seniors and our immigrant population. So they said that they would do pop-ups this time. So, so what other, any other locations? I say go for overkill. We only said two. What else? Oh my goodness. Then um what about um what about on uh Bay Parkway in the 60s or yeah, I would suggest 65th Street, 75th Street, 86th Street, um, and then maybe Bath Avenue or Cropsey Avenue, depending oh, on which one has more foot traffic. Mm -hmm. Um, so that would be that way. What I guess that's horizontal or vertical, whichever way you want to state but it. 65th the opposite where? Through, 65th the intersection the intersecting with each one on 65th street and let's say 18th 65th street and 20th 65th street and bay parkway, bay parkway. do that and repeat it down the list for 75th you street go, you 86th go, you street you can go to say, say a's on uh bay parkway and uh 65th street and have one there if i'm yeah. not mistaken they have a senior center there if i remember correctly you are correct so we should Most make of the that churches do all right good so we, we'll give them a whole, we'll give them a list of, yeah. you know, a I, dozen I mean, sites. Yeah. So I mean, if, they, if they do half, we'll be lucky. JCH, who who runs the NORC program, where they're proposing the removal of all those bus stops or the realignment um, on Bay Parkway, for sure. All right, good. So we'll give them a whole list. I, I have a question besides pop-ups and physical like actual employees or people being there. I was just wondering about like flyers of the sorts. When we go on the train station, you'll see proposed changes. Uh, like the R line might not be running or the, we've, we've done them before. The D line won't be running for six months this way, you know, right? They post those signs there. Why can't they do something very similar with a website link or a QR code? Now I know for the senior population, that would not help as much, but at least they will get a notification literally in person while they look at the bus stop and it will say with a small little wood plaque or a small little piece of paper the same way we can laminate it who cares whatever just trying to be creative here because the immigrant and senior population Andrew, will be left out if i i'm trying to remember what as a community board one that does off the b43 they actually went and tagged to every best to every bus stop that they slated to remove a sign saying, tell the MTA that the MTA wants to remove this bus stop, call them and tell them. And it literally yep. got tagged yep. to every, it got literally tagged to every bus stop because I'm on the 43 now. And it literally every day, there's a sign there every day. And it's got to be that way until this process ends. Yep. Yep. And I would say because it's the city and city property, individuals and members of the public cannot do that on their own and so i would say we as a community board committee and the community board generally should request that the mta and the city government and their agencies do that by tagging every bus stop they plan to remove prior to the public hearing so that's a good idea but how would we what would we put in there for them to do because right now everything's online a phone number where you can call into the public hearing because of course there will be a public hearing online that can be called into. Yes, so you can call into this hearing on, right. So there you have the phone number for people. So most people have landlines or cell phones. So, you know, it, we are going to be able to hit 95% of the people with a phone number. Um, you put in a website link to put a QR code for the new generation, younger generations. And then you could also go ahead and put it in 10 to 12 different languages like we do for voting and we do for the train stations. Andrew? Andrew. So the public hearing for us on the draft plan is the 13th. We will never get them to do that. Put on your lawyer hat. As a city agency, okay. so as, actually, a city, I, as a actually, city agency, we are permitted to post notices. Okay, two things. Amazing. It's actually two city agencies. It's a state. It's a state authority and a city agency. Unfortunately, the state authority actually doesn't control yep. the bus stops. New York City oh. does. Amazing, amazing. Thank you for the clarification, Robert and Marty. Amazing. No, 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 no. I'm just making sure. I mean, we can work together and get translated. You know, a blurb. Listen, if that if that's truly the case, I'll do it myself if I have to. I don't really care. This. Because you know what, well, this 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 community is getting thoroughly screwed over by this redesign. 
Well, so, Beth, did Andrew, you know is a septile? I'll send you the section of the law for you to look at just to make sure. Uh, just for the record, we're joking, and uh, I'm not going to be practicing law on behalf of the community board. <laughs> no, but yes, I would. I would, but yeah. You're the chairman uh, yeah. of the law committee. You can read the city. Oh, law true that. True, true, true. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> okay. But if we go, if we move ahead with that, which would be great, I think we really have to target which bus stops we're going to do because there's not enough of us <laughs> to do all of it. I think we really have to be the selective because for us to go out and personally do this, and we could try to draft other community board members to help us, but still. I don't think it's that many. Um, when you're talking about going in a car with just posting a flyer, because we have the maps and the routes. You heard Hi. that she wants, she wants to do a road trip. Do, you know, do you know that the MTA is proposing a change to your bus route and plan on removing this? That's a, that's exactly that's exactly what community board one exactly did. It changed, it tagged one of those flyers to every bus stop. And and you know you just put them at the main hubs. Why am I getting an echo? I don't know. All night. Okay, All so right. let's I'll move ahead with that and see if it's it's legal and doable. Okay, we'll see. And do we do know we're going to have to go through this a second time, even when we get through, even when we get through this process? The in was it in late of this year of twenty three or early twenty four? They're going to come back to us what their um, redone redesign. So we're going to have to go through this not only once, but let's see how much they actually listen to us. In exactly. The I was going to say, let's be optimistic. We're going to go be hopeful mm -hmm. that they listen to us and they implement what we request. Let's be optimistic. We're going to go through this a number of times. Yeah. No offense. So, Not just two. I'm going to be optimistic, two. Robert. I am. I am. Listen, I don't, tr I don't trust the MTA and I certainly tr don't trust the OT. Second of all, my friend, my friends in the Bronx say they did such a bang up job that even at, that when they first implemented the bus redesign in here, it was so screwed up that they just told buses to make every stop. They did literally that on no uncertain terms for the first two weeks of the bus redesign because they didn't even get it right. And even beyond that, they tell me it's still not perfect. It's still not great. It may be better. It may be better than what was the first originally designed, but then nobody's happy with that. That's you know. What? I believe it. I believe oh, it. Uh, look what look what, what Queens is about to get their final redesign plan for Queens. We're gonna have to do this a number of times. Bronx mm -hmm. did it three times. This is just a preliminary for the first round. I'm sure there'll be changes and feedback and and but I think it's important to get community input. The only reason I'm optimistic is because really they did listen to speak up about this. That's why I'm optimistic because they did listen with the Bronx one and I'm we sure. did it three times. So that's why I do have this optimism. Yeah. I'm just going to stop my video to see if it okay. helps the internet connection. Your internet tonight has been hard. And I have good internet here. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> but I... I'd like to thank everybody for coming out tonight. This has to be, we're going on two, we're hitting two hours now. So this really has to be like one of the longest committee meetings that we've had. Wow, hey. Except no. for when we do in person, because sometimes we're in person committee meetings. Sometimes those could go long, but this has to be like the longest Zoom one we've had. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This is probably the longest Zoom we've had. Uh, we had a lot to cover. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a lot. Okay, All so right. work up the notes with you, Lori. And, and okay, then, okay. Have a great night. Thank you all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, have well, a great good night. night. Have good, a night. good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Money. <laughs>